Hello and welcome. In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at properly applying a LUT here in DaVinci Resolve. Well, getting started, we have a bit of video clip here in our timeline. We're going to add a couple of serial nodes. On that final serial node, we will add a color space transform. We're going to go up and change these settings to the appropriate settings for our camera. And we're converting this to Rec. 709, which is what we've just done. I'm going to hit my Tab key, which is my shortcut to label that node. And we're just going to call it Rec. 709. At which point, we will add a new serial node. And again, we're going to add another color space transform. Drop that on that clip. In this one, the only change we're going to make is on our output gamma. We're going to go down here, and we're going to select Cineon Film Log. And the reason we're doing that is the specific LUT that we're bringing in is going to be a film LUT. We want to give this clip a film look. To bring up our LUTs, I'm just going to right click on this clip. We're going to go down here to LUTs, Film Looks. We're going to bring in 2383 D55. We've got a nice clean film look on this video clip. Now I think this looks great. I don't know that I would make any significant changes to this footage at this point. However, if I were, I will show you how I would do that. One of the mistakes that a lot of new colorists make is they would immediately go down here at this step of the process to their key and start changing that key input. That is going to diversely affect the grade. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these up just to make it a little easier. I'm going to click on my mouse, hold it, and lasso these two clips. At which point I'll just right click on the clip, create compound node. And now that I have a compound node, any changes that I make down here are just lessening that last color space transform, the Kodak look, without reverting it back to the Cineon look. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future DaVinci tutorials.